Hello, everybody. Uh, so we're going to talk about uh, PG routing and what's going on with it. So this is me. Uh, these are my avatars. You can find either on GitHub, LinkedIn, or any one of these ones. Okay. I'm a freelancer developer. I'm the main developer of PG routing. I'm also a project steering committee member of PG routing and many other things. And today we're going to talk about the state of PG routing, which is an OSGO community project. But we don't want it to be an OSGO community project. So we're actually doing some incubation because we want to become an OSGO project. And you can find the code in GitHub. So don't forget to get it. You are welcome to make contributions in terms of modifying the documentation, bug fixing, uh, even just saying, hey, I found this problem. I don't know how to fix, but I found this problem. Everything is welcome. And PG Routing has uh, several side projects. Uh, we have OSM to PG Routing. We also have um, PG Routing Layer that it can be used in QEIS. Uh, we have a project that is uh, starting to take off. It's not a community project. It's um, VRP routing with solves several VRP uh, routing problems that are NP hard. And all of those are open source. And this is uh, main P routing. And the VRP routing uh, project is a spin off of P routing, which already has a couple of functions that are VRP, like a peak delivery. Uh, but they're moved to another repository because this one is using software that is not being packaged yet by Debian or other operative systems. So to keep on PG routing alive, we need to depart for those kind of problems. And both of them are libraries. Okay, so there is our, th these are not made up solutions for any routing problems. And they are using, um, or they, they have to be run on a Postgres, PostGIS database. And then you can do your routing. And so basically, it's an open source, that it's a library that runs in a database that is Postgres enabled, and then you have PG routing. So let's talk about OSM to PG routing. We use OSM data, open data, open software. We like openness. So OSM to PG routing, what it does, it converts OSM data to something that it can be used in PG routing directly. But don't forget, every graph will depend on your application. You still need to do a final refinement for your graphs to do a real application. But this helps a lot. Okay. Currently, it only works on .osm files. One of our plans is that it can also work for PBF and O5M. That's so that um, it's more flexible, but it's a plan. Um, about QGIS, uh, we can plug in, um, we have the, the plugin PG routing layers that can be used in QGIS. And again, it's uh, basically, you have to think about it as it's um, something simple that you can use so that you can see how it works. 
but it's not for a final application. For a final application, you need to set up uh, the working graph with all the details. Um, but it helps a lot to see how P routing works. And vehicle routing problems like uh, garbage collection. So you can see here, down here, it's a garbage truck. And this is Montevideo, and all the green dots are um, containers for garbage. And the trucks had to go and pick up the containers, and we had to find for a fleet of trucks, the, uh, find the containers and make the smaller set of routes. So that is a vehicle routing problem. And it was like they pick up the containers, the truck gets full, goes to the dump, goes back to the depot, maybe to change drivers, and has to go back to the city. Okay? So that, uh, that can be done with vehicle BRP routing. So, PG routing. What do we think about PG routing? Well, it basically we think about routing. It's a we are here. And we want to go there. How do I do it? Well, in elementary school, they told us, hey, the closest, uh, the shortest path is going to be a straight line between two points. So we draw that. And then we put the same thing into context. And we say, oh, oh, something's wrong. So uh, this uh, PU routing elephant has now the feathers because it's a bird. It's the bird can only do this kind of traversing the, the city of, of prison. And therefore, we're using PU routing in a representation, in a graph representation of a city, which is this idea. These, uh, you can see the intersections of the streets and the streets, but the same graph, which is, let's say, we're representing the city with this graph. But the same graph, this is the same graph with the nodes located in a different position. And it can be a representation of the relation of the people, okay? And we don't have a latitude, longitude attached to us. And PE routing allows to find shortest relationships between people. How do I relate from 9 to 15? The shortest path, for example. That's so it doesn't need to have a geometry attached. It's to solve um, graph problems. Um, for example, also here, we want to set up a network, how we can do it. We can also represent, it's the same graph, basically. No, this one is different. But we can represent everything with a graph, and you don't necessarily have um, latitude and longitude attached to this information. The rivers, this one have uh, latitude and longitude, we have uh, some functionality that works for flow, it's flow functions. So you can analyze the flow of the water in this river, which is the Nile. And this week, during the code sprint, we will work in 3.5. And soon on September 2023, so September this year, November probably, uh, we will have a version 3.6. Not so soon, we will have a version 4.0. Might happen on 24, might happen on 25. Um, originally, I was planning to do it for 23, but it's getting a big, too big, and we are doing some improvements, a standardization, and let's talk about our functions and what we want to achieve. So we have several classification, official, proposed, and experimental functions. 
Official functions normally don't change, but on 3.5, PGR Dijkstra, which is our main function, the easiest one, the first one that people learn, we, it's the first one that we teach in the workshop, it's changing, has changed already. Proposed are they ready? They, we feel that they do not have bugs, and um, in the next major release, they might or they might not become official. An experimental, it's uh, normally are functions that were added by other contributors that need some refinement and uh, that need code cleanup, that um, need more tests because I'm a test freak, so we need to test a lot to become proposed and from proposed to become official, okay? So we have those classifications, so uh, the official ones are the more stable ones. But as I mentioned, PGR Dijkstra, which is an official one, is changing on 3.5. And we have for each function many overloads. One to one, one to many, many to one, many to many, and combinations. It's uh, from one source, from one departure point to uh, one destination, and so on. Okay, so the same function with many overloads, you can do um, many queries with many to many, for example. So, we have um, many families, all pairs, A star, bidirectional A star, Dijkstra, and families, flow, for flow, cross code prim, topology, and reference. So we have them kind of grouped in families, and we want to standardize the input and the output. Okay, so I'm going to skip a little bit of other categories. Oh. We have the cost functions with PGR Dijkstra, PGR Dijkstra cost. A, PGR A star, PGR A star cost. So the suffix is adding the cost, the cost matrix and so on. And we have the, by, the width points are all proposed. They haven't been moved up because I know they have an issue. If there's an issue open about that and I haven't got the time to fix that issue. They're usable, but I don't like that section of the code I wrote. And we have the via functions also. So Dijkstra via, everything ends with that uh, category. So as I mentioned, uh, we are changing the code and let's understand first the version that we're using of PG routing. If you run a select version and library from PGR full version, you get two values. One is the SQL version, and the second value is the C++ code that is use, being used by that SQL version. So here, I'm, it's saying that the SQL that it's being used is 3.1.3, and the library is 3.6.0, which means that you can run anything with this SQL and with this library. We, when we make a new release of PG routing, we're not breaking the major, so your code will work. Your SQL code will work. You don't need to do anything. It will work. So uh, with that uh, combination of SQL and C++ code, we can do a select, and I'm choosing all the columns that come from PGR Dijkstra, so this function is 3.1. Uh, 
and we get the following column, sequence, path sequence, node edge cost, and aggregate cost. That will remain the same, it's working perfectly. But let's see what happens if I'm using, for example, 3.6.0 dev. Remember, this is for September or something, but you can try out 3.6 dev. It's in the develop branch of PU routing with the 3.6 C++ code. And we run the same query we get these two additional columns that are start VID and end VID. The thing is that the many to many function and the combinations ones have all these columns, but the one to one does not have a start bit and end bit because in theory, the person that is coding is saying, well, I'm going from vertex one to vector vertex three, I'm remembering it, but in reality it's not happening, so we're returning that column now. So, um, we, to, to prepare for the migration, we recommend not to use the select star and use the exact names of the columns and this query as it is will run with both versions of the uh, SQL code com in combination with the C++ code. Um, we have new topology functions and we are going to be deprecating these ones. I think we're going to be doing that um, very soon. It's going to be part of 3.6. And actually, since version 3.3.2, uh, we're not using any of these functions in the documentation, except on the page of the documentation of the functions. But for the sample data, we're not using any of these functions. So there, with the functions, the new ones, you can uh, work them out. So basically, it's use everything. The new one, PER extract vertices, save on a table, and then update source, update target, and then you have a topology, a working topology. So also this one is being deprecated, and you have to use different things depending on your objective. Uh, you can use connected components, this new function, or any of the post-GIS functions. And uh, you have a migration guide that you can always check since we started making these changes. So there is a migration guide. And keep on routing. <laughs>